let me give a shout out to Stephanie Dews for to be a fairly simple video to talk about. And I'm realizing I'm doing a lot of political based videos lately, and I have to give thanks to people like Professor Black Truth and uh, Jason Black at the Black Authority, because those two right there have literally molded and shaped my views of how politics actually work. And I also have to give a shout out to Cerulean Gray as well, um, because I believe he was a political science major. So he like knows how a lot of this stuff works. Well, I don't realize I take that back. I don't know if Palm Colored whether they are on the right or on the left, realize that people who classify as ADOS are on to them. But I'm going to say this. We are on to you. We've been on to you for quite some time now, and y'all might as well just stop dead in your tracks. You send out your attack dogs that look like us, but they ain't us to try to get us to sway and to leave the quote unquote democratic plantation. To be honest, many of us, were either a been left that plantation or b never on it to begin with and that goes the same for the conservative side as well they keep trying to trot out these subliminal hits where if they can attack one side then they can find a way to sway us it's funny how they say they don't need our vote but when you look at tweets like the one in front of you and it's another one that follows behind this one you realize that how much they're really trying to get our attention because deep down they know that they need us this is exactly why i say black people have to be very politically sad especially in this upcoming election they're going to try their best to put out their best and brightest foot forward for us to bite at the bait. And we cannot take the bait. This individual by the name of Carmine Sabia said message for black voters. White liberals did not care about you when they started the KKK, when 39 percent of them voted against the Civil Rights Act of 1964, when they signed the Southern Manifesto against school integration, integration. And they do not care now. Basically, in summary, all he's trying to say is. Be a Republican. That's pretty much all he's trying to say. If you become a Republican, then that can really open your eyes. They equivalent. They make the equivalent of being a Republican, as I call it, as taking the red pill. Like you know how in you know in the Matrix when Neo took the red pill and then he saw everything for um what it is. Like he really saw reality. That's what they're trying to do here. Notice that now that I think about it, you have the Republicans who are on whose colors are red and the Democrats who are blue. So it's basically saying if you're a Republican, you're awake or you're woke. And if you're a liberal, you're asleep or living in a fantasy world. That's basically what they're saying is, and I just put that together just now. I don't know if anyone else caught that as well, or maybe noticed that beforehand, but that just kind of clicked in my head. But let me just tell you somewhere, something right now. Neither one of y'all have me fooled. Neither one of you have any of us fooled for the most part. And y'all hate that we have shut down four Democrat pick candidates to the, to the top four being Kamala Harris, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren and Joe Biden. And y'all can't stand that. So y'all figure, oh, they're shutting them down They're Oh, trust me and trust and believe people like this guy is watching us. They are watching us like a hawk ready to swoop in and get its prey. And we are the prey. We have to get out of that way before they do that. 2020 is really going to show where we stand politically. When we say we want our reparations and our tangibles, we mean just that. And neither one of them are speaking in the tone and the language that we want to hear, that we need to hear, that we deserve to hear. They keep speaking in these roundabout tones and they just fail and miss the mark each and every time. To be honest, like I said, they're both the the left, the right, the conservative, the liberal, the the thuglican and the democrat are two wings on the same bird, but they'll have you to try to believe that that's not the case. I believe if I'm not mistaken, weren't they kind of interchangeable at one time? Didn't the Republicans once be liberals and the liberals once be conservative and then they kind of switched? If I'm not mistaken, I think that's what it was. This person right here thinks putting this piece of history out here is going to sway us. We know who did what. And to be honest, when it came to whoever wore those clans hoods, clansmen hoods back in the day, 
we didn't it didn't matter which side they leaned on they all were palm colored when they did those picnics quote unquote it they it didn't matter which side of the coin they were on they were all palm colored they came together to destroy black people that's for damn sure they came together to destroy us. They put that liberal and that that conservative right left crap aside to come together as one to destroy us. Now, that is something they will never say. Now, I'm going to go to this next this other image where this person re um, retweeted it and said message for folks who flunked U.S. history in high school. White liberals didn't do any of this. Are you sure about that? Because let's not forget, 45 back in the 90s said that he was a Democrat. But now he ran as a Republican because he knew there was a good chance he would win. And, well, you see exactly what has happened. But it's amazing that his base never talks about that. I remember, well, I saw the clip. I was too young to actually know what was going on at the time when he said it. But I saw the clip where he actually said it. I think it was back in either 98 or 99 when he said it. I don't know why palm colored whether what side they're on try so hard we are not falling for the bait when we say we want something and we're demanding it that's what we mean and if you cannot meet our demands then you and no matter which wing you happen to be on palm colored can kiss all of our ados ass simple as that i don't know wh why it's not clicking like I said, 2020 is going to be very, very interesting. And they better get ready because <laughs> it's going to be lit and loud for that entire year, especially when it rolls down to November. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.